our program grows exclusively uh, produce for food gatherers. We are a women's facility in the state, a correctional facility, uh, and the students in our horticulture program participate uh, as part of their curriculum in the vegetable garden. We grow everything from uh, you know bok choy to uh, tomatoes and peppers and squash and the typical things. We have about a half of an acre of garden um, that uh, we grow fruits and vegetables out of. Um, we divide our garden actually in two halves. Uh, our students each get a 100 square foot plot that's their own. And then we have uh, the other half of the garden is uh, dedicated space for, uh, we call it our community garden. Um, and so the students uh, take ownership in their 100 square foot and they donate the produce that they grow uh, to food gatherers from there. So they get experience in starting seeds, um, you know, picking out what plants that they want to put in the space, um, planting it, fertilizing it. The purpose of our program in the prison is to give them um, vocational skills for when they uh, um, go back to the community, uh, that they can get an entry level job. Being able to give back to the community allows them to, uh, to give back a little bit of what they have taken from it. Food gathers comes either once or twice a, a week um, from April to maybe November. And then we have other small donations periodically in the winter months. We actually do grow for them in the winter. They're a group of genuine individuals and that comes out wholeheartedly. Um, so over the years, I've really gotten to know some of the people, especially the drivers that come and pick up the um, produce. Um, you know, it's always fun to talk to those guys and girls, and um, they really appreciate. They, the, the drivers really make a point of, of thanking the women for their contribution, and um, that small little gratification means a whole lot to them to provide Food for um, families and individuals that don't have any food is, is the overwhelming theme of what their gratitude is in being involved in the program. There was one lady that um, was actually homeless in uh, Ann Arbor that had been um, to the shelter downtown and had been to the community kitchen and she was she was probably one of my most enthusiastic uh, students in my class because that exact thing is that my gosh I ate this I ate food from you guys before you know that you guys grew and now I'm able to give it to somebody else and um, she felt very grateful for that opportunity the favorite part of my work is um, seeing people come alive uh, working with living things um, brings out a lot of characteristics in people when people didn't think that they could be successful in anything maybe they have never been successful and you give them a little seed and you have them plant it and it actually comes up and it actually grows and then that turns into a tomato plant that they can actually eat or donate to somebody else it's it's transformative and I love to see that confidence gained especially in women you know women don't have a whole lot of confidence um, and so to, to see that momentum gained and, and is profound.